Hello, social media world. This is Noel Christopher uh, coming with you to you with a quick video here. Uh, I just got done watching the interview of Robert Schiller about his Case Schiller Index and about where he thinks housing prices are going to go. And a little bit of context here. Um, the, the interview actually starts out about his book, which is talking about economic narratives that are out there in the world. And how economic narratives can change the sentiment and change whole economies. For example, the Great Depression, there was a trade war going on. A lot of people thought that maybe that was the, the, the cause of the recession, but it really probably wasn't. And the economic narratives that are happening now, even with the trade war, with, with pundits, not economists, many times some economists, but, but just as many say not as do say that we're going into a recession. But a lot of pundits talking about recessions and housing declines and, and all of this thing and all the pundits and everybody jumped on this, what Robert Schiller said. By the way, his book sounds fascinating. I think I'm going to get it and read it for sure. What he said when he was asked about the housing market was that usually housing is more predictable or housing is more predictable or more forecastable uh, than the stock market, which is more random. But he said it's really hard because of the, the polarized environment that we're in, because of the economic narratives that are being pushed out there to predict where housing is going to go. Um, and so much like like Britain, it's very hard to figure out. You can't really forecast it right now, but he wouldn't be surprised if we had saw, started to see a decline in housing prices. So said full transparency that housing market shot up 10% right after the floor, which is 2012. And now is the appreciation has slowly receded, but not the housing prices, just the appreciation rate. Now we're at 3% and that's kind of even with inflation. Okay, great. But he did not say there was going to be a housing crash. He said he wouldn't be surprised if housing prices went down. He said that in context that he can't, he doesn't know. Read the news. The headline is Robert Schiller says there's going to be a housing crash. Please understand. These are the pundits. These are the uh, sensationalism uh, journalism. This wasn't empirical data. This wasn't saying it was going to happen. I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Read between the lines, look at your local market, know what you're doing locally. And if a deal works today, it's going to work tomorrow. And honestly, for what I do, I have more clients waiting for house prices to go down. If they go down where it's going to be a bonanza of people buying, but caveat to that is they're still buying now because there are opportunities out there. Talked about this on my LinkedIn live show yesterday. There is, um, 23% of the markets, top 100 markets in the United States are undervalued. Another 37% at value, some of the rest that are overvalued. Great. Don't look at the overvalued market. Look at the at values and undervalued markets. There's opportunities to buy and invest into real estate. In fact, you can now buy in some of the undervalued markets, get a higher yield to offset a lower yield in some more, in some more, uh, lower yield markets to get to your cap rate. Something that we've been talking about a lot. Look at all that. Thanks. Let me know if you have any comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.